Hi. Done another one. We are now at Oops. a place. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, that's been stupid. <laughs> okay, we found another one. We did. Hey, on car going past. We are in a town called Yelavan, which is um, in between Warwick and Gundawindi, or Gundawindi in Queensland. And now a truck's going to come up, past. Hurry up. So Yelavan Cemetery. Let's have a look. Yeah, let's go. I don't know if this is that old, to be honest. It's not an old one. Well, there's an old. Look, this this has got to be old. Where that? Yeah, but look, this one here. It's not old. I just looked at it. Really? Really? Just an old, old wooden cross. 1896 to 1964. Arthur Jacob. Yeah. Arthur, what do you reckon, Arthur Jacob Higgs? Higgs. Yeah. 1964 is not that old. No. So we're not in an old, old one, it yeah, seems. Well, those ones would be old too, but they're not even old. They're just not well kept, are they? 1994, 1971, 1988. Well, oh, look at this, John. It's, it's got a bed frame. Oh, I suppose he's sleeping soundly. John Davies. Unbelievable. Patricia Jean. Right. Patricia Jean. Oh my goodness. That's John's mum's name, Patricia Jean. Oh, and she was only nine. And she was she died the same year we were born, John. Patricia Jean Wright died 27th of January 1968, aged nine years old. I'm surprised it's not old though. These ones down here look like they've just got pavers on top of them. Surely there's got to be some older, like 1800s one. We suffered together and may we be glorified together. It's different, isn't it? Suffered, all right. That sounds... Oh, shut up. Did I say that loud again? Yes, you did. Look, it looks like there's just pavers sitting on top of them. Oh, and there's some older ones over there, I reckon. Just come over here. That one, this one's got to be an older one, surely. What's this one? Oh, that's weird, isn't it? No, so Emo. Remembered with love and precious memories. Oh, sorry, Emo. Oh, he was a biker, a hell of a life. That's a cool headstone. It is. Brian it's Cyril right. Emerton. It's quite sunken, that one, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And we'll just fix her dog up. Can you fix the dog up? Hilton Hope, this one's Foddy's grave. There you go, Foddy, we fixed your dog up for you. Oh, this one's also got a doggy. Yeah. Our legend Max Ronald Hope. 2011. Down there, they weren't old? No. Well, you know what we mean by old. No. Like 60, no, 1960, but that's still old, but not like old, old. There's a whole family here of, the, of girls, G I R L E. Maybe it's pronounced different. I reckon that's their last name. Yeah, but it's got to be pronounced. Will it be pronounced, girl? Yeah, I'd say so. Where? Oh, oh my goodness me! Oh, I'm not going to zoom in on this, but there's a over there on a rock. Go, just walk over near it, John. Oh wow, they've got like a big picture of the person. Oh, no way. This one is called Henry Thomas Ford. Wasn't. What? Is it? Yeah, but wasn't the Ford man Thomas Henry Ford for Ford cards? No, but Henry Thomas Ford. Uh, Thomas Henry or Henry. But uh, that's. Yeah, that's cool. Do 
you reckon this is an old one? This one? Yeah. Can't see any inscriptions on that wood. It's old, but going by the other ones with the crosses, they were. Maybe 1980s, 1990s. Accidentally killed. Look how this one's been. Um, Edged. No. I'd say the way you've edged it. Yeah, must be a new one. I'd say it's a child too, yeah. by the size of it. Here's a armed forces one, so I will show that because of, you know what I'm like. Private Finnegan, 12th of December 1983, age 59, and Muriel Rose Finnegan, farmer, died in 2011. etching on this stone all right so we've got 1976s so we're going back to the 70s now Roy Hartley Sutton Violet Rose Sutton Edmund Roy Sutton they've all got the same headstone oh it's got a bit of moss on it but the etching's amazing this guy's got a bottle of beer keeping company Raymond This person over here was 101 years old But Jesus some of this some um, this sandstony tops on them. Yeah, are beautiful aren't they? Well, this is going to be a very very short video guys it's a very, very small cemetery. This one here is unmarked. And it is just about to rain. Here's a few more ex-servicemen. So we'll just quickly... It's actually three of them. We've got Sapper Fockerty. Died in 1983, and we have leading aircraftman Rainbow. Died in 2004, and this must be his wife, I'd say. And this one, Private Connolly, May 1997. Yeah, righto. This one definitely somebody's resting place because there's some flowers but no nothing 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 and that's it that's the whole cemetery guys and there's Jacko's grave there I love um, when people have got nicknames they're on their grave site. I'll pick these flowers up. I wonder who that belonged to. I'll just choose. I'll just choose one. It's so windy. I might just put it here because it looks like it came out of there. There, Clara. Clara. I like that name, so I'll put it there. Right, it's starting to rain, guys, and um getting heavier so this is it for Yalaban Cemetery not much to show this little top was only two days old poor little Timothy Yalaban Cemetery done and dusted. Sorry guys, that was only a small one. We just saw it on the side of the road when we were coming in to stay at this town and it is a very, very small town. Um, remember to like and subscribe for me, please. This is a new channel and we are trying to find as many um, cemeteries around Australia as we travel. And um, if you want to see our travel channel, head over to Only Leaving Footprints Exploring Australia and give us a subscribe there and you'll see everywhere we go in our caravan. 
Thanks again for watching. See you next week. Bye.